Hello there, welcome to this very challenging video on asynchronous counting. Let me give you a demonstration of what I mean, because it's quite hard to explain it in words. The idea is that you're going to choose either two or three or four or five fingers in the left hand to play those notes of any major scale, all the 12 keys. Every one note you play in the left hand, you're playing two in the right hand. So we'll just give you a demonstration of that in the key of, let's say, uh, E. So I'm going to choose the first two notes of E. For, of e. I'm going to use any two fingers I want. So maybe not necessarily the little finger and ring finger, but I will for this example. So every one note, I'm playing two in the right. Now this might seem easy, but it isn't. And the main focus of this video is to let you experience what it means to become a spectator to your hands. You'll start out doing these with quite a lot of difficulty. Your conscious interference will be quite high and your ability will be quite low. But within seconds, and I mean like 10, 20 seconds, or within a few minutes, this is not about years and lifetimes, this is just seconds and minutes, you'll be able to do it. This is quite meditative. Uh, I recommend finding your natural limit, closing your eyes. This is not about rushing, it's actually about endurance, precision, major scale mastery, all these kinds of things. So uh, let me just do the same two notes, but this time I'll do it differently with maybe my middle finger and index finger in the same key. So you can stay in one key and use different numbers of fingers and different fingers, uh, or you can do other keys. I'll mix and match in this video, it won't be too long at all. So let's just say middle finger and index finger on the E, first two notes of E major, of course this is E major. Now the point is that the more you do that, the easier it will become. But not just that, you will experience what it means to become a spectator to your fingers. There's a point that something happens in your mind where you can suddenly do it without your brain consciously looking at the left, looking at the right, looking at the left, looking at the right. So suddenly, you won't be involved. You'll just be watching it. And it's a very exciting moment that I'd like you to experience. So I've just done it in E2 notes. Let's just jump to a, di a different key. Let's say the key of F. And uh, I'll do uh, three notes. And I'll use the middle three fingers. So, very slowly. So I'd say about now I can feel that there's no conscious interference at all. Maybe speed it up a bit. That's quite nice. It's quite an easy one, that one. Let's try with a different set of three fingers middle index thumb, which presents a different kind of challenge because it's different finger combinations, different feeling. Okay. But you must understand that I'm not concentrating. I'm not. I have no conscious interference, which means that my left hand is just doing what it has to do with the fingers that it's required to use and the right hand is playing what it has to with its natural fingering. There's no conscious involvement at all. Let me jump to a uh, key of, uh, let's try it in reverse. This is a nice thing to do. But before I do, as always, likes, comments, subscriptions are always welcome. And this time I'd like to invite you to have a look at my new free to use and free to register video management website. Link in the comment section below in the description box. Uh, I won't go on about it. Go there, have a look. And I think you'll really, really enjoy it. find it incredibly useful. It's all for you to help you navigate my videos uh, in a way that YouTube can't offer, unfortunately. So, uh, we've got the uh, left hand doing that. Let's try it with the right hand. So, uh, thumb on the key of C. It's too easy. Let's try middle finger, ring finger. We'll do the key of C. It doesn't matter what the key is because it's challenging anywhere. And the idea is that you're going to do two notes in the left hand. Like this. So, let's see what happens. Two notes in the left hand for every one in the right hand. closed. I'm honestly not looking and I'm not trying to concentrate and you can see that it's coming out quite fluently. You'll find that actually not difficult if you just spend a few minutes trying to break that wall of conscious interference. Let me just do it with another combination. I'll use my, my, uh, little, my ring finger and, uh, middle f uh, and li little finger. So it's a different, different challenge, different set of fingers. See that 
that one had like maybe 10% conscious interference on the right hand, but eventually it, 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 cleared, it cleared itself up a bit, you know? So you can alternate. All these different combinations, I recommend that you try them just for the pleasure of becoming a spectator to your hands. And of course that will benefit your playing naturally when you're playing because your conscious interference default level will be a lot lower than it would otherwise have been. And your natural ability will be higher than it otherwise would have been. Now you can do this, not just with scales, but with chords. So uh, you can take a three note chord or a four note chord. Let's start with a three note chord, uh, key of uh, E flat, E flat major. I'll do it with the octave to give me four notes in the right hand, so it's different from the three in the left, otherwise it's uh, you know, quite easy. Although we could still play two notes in the, uh, in the right hand for one, of course. Which would be like this. Maybe go to minor. That's quite a nice thing to do, but I was going to do it with the octaves. We've got four notes in the right hand. Nice to do. So you can try it with that as well, or of, co of course alternate, do the right hand and the double in the left. Uh, let's just try just another example, key of G, let's play G uh, minor 7, 2 in the right, 1 in the left. There's no conscious interference. That's all I want you to experience from this video. So you're going to get a kind of meditative experience. This is about major scale mastery as well. It's about touch and precision. Um, it's about closing your eyes, about finding your natural limit and pushing it. So many benefits. And becoming a spectator to your fingers. You're obviously getting a nice workout as well physically on the, on the piano. So just to confirm, it uh, doesn't need to be a long video at all. You're going to use different combinations of two or three or four or even five fingers in the left mm -hmm. hand. Let's just do another one in the key of D flat while I'm talking. We're going to take any finger combination you want. It might be just two notes with any two fingers or three notes with any three fingers or maybe the same number of notes but with all finger combinations. You know, mix and match while the right hand is playing the scale up and down. Just one octave, no reason to go over to two. And that's good. Now let me just do one more ending in D flat. One more uh, ending in D flat. And uh, I'll do it as octaves, just, for a bit of, just to change it up a bit. So let's just take, uh, maybe I'll do index, <laughs> middle index and thumb. But I'll do, uh, it's a bit slower for the octaves, but I'll do, I'll do it like that. And let's just see how that comes out. Okay, that, it took me maybe two times to do it until it became comfortable. Eyes closed, of course, freely. It's easier with the eyes closed. You'll see. I'm not thinking about which notes work, which notes go with each finger. I'm not, I'm, it's not, I'm not making this mathematical. This is not a mathematical thing. I'm not concentrating. The point of doing these kinds of things with an endurance, uh, say, undertone, is that you're experiencing the, obs the uh, be being a spectator for a longer period of time. If you just do it once, that's nothing. But do it a bit longer. Let me just do it as a normal, without octaves. It just feels nice to be able to do that, you know? To just be a at the piano, playing without thinking, that's what it's all about. That's what water pianism philosophy is about, becoming a spectator to your hands. That's what it means. So you're not involved. You're just watching it all happen. And this is a kind of exercise that helps. People seem to like these breaking your brain exercises. And I have uh, one or two other videos uh, linked below, um, which you may also enjoy, where you're doing different things, different scales, different hands, all that kind of stuff. Um, but it's all the same philosophy. It's about um, reducing your conscious interference while having major scale, mastery, touch, precision, experiencing that meditative way of playing. Um, so hopefully that little experiment will uh, prove useful, well it will, to you. Uh, as always, likes, comments, subscriptions are always welcome. Uh, and uh, do be sure to have a look at the uh, video management website and uh, hopefully you'll find that very, very useful and enjoyable. All the best and bye for now.